and they actually gave up 450 yards of offense, which definitely wasn't good. And one thing's for sure, a performance like that, uh, like last week, won't get it done on Saturday against the luck of the Irish this week. Kutub reporter Blake Tillotson joins us from South Bend. Blake, how are things in the land of the Golden Dome? Hey, thanks guys. I'm here in South Bend standing right outside Notre Dame Stadium where tomorrow the Fighting Irish will host our very own Cougars who hope to write one more page in Notre Dame history. The Cougars will face the undefeated Fighting Irish tomorrow in the historical South Bend, Indiana. A W would not only be BYU's top performance this year, but also their fifth victory against a top five opponent in school history. I don't want to go in there and have to throw the ball every play because we'll, we'll be in significant trouble. So we've got to be able to establish some form of a run game, and they're one of the best in the country at stopping the run. The stage that is Notre Dame Stadium will star key players on both sides of the ball. Nelson, Hoffman, and Williams will each have to watch out for All-American linebacker Manti Teo, who leads the Irish defense with 59 tackles, three interceptions, and two fumble recoveries. As a defense, you know, we want to dominate. We want to dominate opponents, and uh, the best thing, the best way to do that is to keep the points down. On the other hand, Irish quarterback Everett Golson and company better be ready for the pressure of Van Oy, Ziggy, and Ogletree, who don't plan on letting Notre Dame anywhere near the famous touchdown Jesus. The fact that it's Notre Dame it makes it cooler, but I mean, that's, I mean, we don't think, oh, we're going to play Notre Dame, you know, it's, it's just a football game and it's just another opponent and a face behind a face mask. And so, I mean, that's kind of our approach. And even though the Cougars defense is ranked fifth in the nation, Notre Dame's 11th ranked defense has not allowed an offensive touchdown in its last four games. In this defensive showdown featuring two of the nation's best, something's got to give. Fumble recovered by Stanford for a touchdown. The Cougars will definitely have their hands full tomorrow, seeing that they have not beaten Notre Dame in South Bend since 1994. Now, I'm standing here with fellow CoogTube reporter Brady Tucker. Brady, this is a beautiful place, especially during this time of year. But really, what is South Bend without Notre Dame football? Well, Blake, this team and this university means so much to this community of South Bend, Indiana. Now, the stadium is not the only historical thing in South Bend. Today, I was able to visit another, the College Football Hall of Fame. While I was there, I was able to see the exhibits of some of the former Cougars enshrined there. The College Football Hall of Fame has been in South Bend since 1995 and puts a historical spin on the pigskin. I think from coming here, you can really grasp the scope of history of, from college football. You can actually learn how college football came from a game that was played in an open field in New Jersey in 1869 in front of a few fans to games now that are played uh, in front of 110,000 people. The hall encapsulates athletics, tradition, and education and provides visitors with several interactive ways to learn the game. But how do Notre Dame and BYU compare in number of players inducted? The school that has the, the leading number of Hall of Famers is Notre Dame, and it's in the high, high 40s. I think we have seven uh, Hall of Famers from BYU. Among the former Cougars in the Hall are Jim McMahon, Ty Detmer, and the legendary coach Lavelle Edwards. The Hall is always up to date, featuring the Game of the Year for the past five seasons, and even each week's USA Today Top 25. The people of South Bend really ought to take advantage of having the Hall of Fame in their own town because in 2014, the Hall will be relocating to Atlanta. Now, Brady, we've talked about some of the greats of the past, but we're going to see some pretty impressive players tomorrow as well. What is it about these teams, particularly the defense, that stands out? Well, Blake, I think it's going to be a defensive battle from the get-go. BYU is ranked fifth in the nation in total defense, Notre Dame 11th. And when you're throwing names around like Manti Teo and Kyle Van Noy, you have to expect a very low-scoring game, maybe even some big plays, maybe even a touchdown to decide the game. Coach Kelly has turned this program in a very short amount of time. What is it that he instills in his players that's changed the entire environment of this program? Well, the one thing that I really respect Coach Kelly for is his ability to focus his players. The Notre Dame football team is aware that they are not playing for the pros. They're not playing for their own resumes or their individual stats. They are playing for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Now, does that mean that they're focused enough to not think about Oklahoma or even a national championship? You know, some people might call this game a trap game. BYU is just a stepping stone on the way to Oklahoma, maybe an undefeated season and a national title. But again, Coach Kelly's so focused on keeping his players focused, I don't think it's going to happen. Here in South Bend, the people are extremely accommodating. We talked about it today when we walked out of our hotel and they gave us our little breakfast bag. 
totally for free. For those who can't come to South Bend and experience it, explain what these people are like. You know, the, the community of South Bend just comes together as a whole and really loves to just welcome the visiting team. They welcome its fans. We heard the, the fight song, the BYU fight song being played by the Notre Dame band. It is just so impressive. Everyone should at some point in their life come to Notre Dame and enjoy a football game. That's Brady Tucker. I'm Blake Tillotson. Thanks for joining us in South Bend. Thanks, guys. It looks like South Bend is a really fun place oh, to be. Oh, I got to get there sometime. That's yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah.